expected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from experienced players can oversee that. Shoots! Fallen has a goal! Well weighted. Van Dijk positions himself well and cuts it out. He's away! He's had a shot! It's Sterling. Gets the better of his man. Goes for goal! Goal! And with the match slipping away... Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special... Has a pop! Oh, denied brilliantly! Party simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. And that has been cleared. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from... Fallen! Goal! Manchester United! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Arsenal trail at this hurt. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Brings it forward, going for goal! A real chance and a real let-off. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back-page headlines there. Jordi Alba. Now it's Sterling, done very well to intervene. Keeper's got good distance on that. Cafu. It's a loose ball. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Ruben Neves plays it short. chance the referee's awarded a free kick Pavar tries to stroke it through Cafu Ruben Neves goes looking Marco Verratti 
Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Plays it out to the wing. Sterling. And Dyke did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Tries to get it forward quickly. He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Manchester United seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. Sterling. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport hub. A more than decent game up to now. Not the most convincing of displays. They can certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. And the game has already resumed here. Arsenal need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution. And I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Shoots! Forlan has a go! Sticks it away! And there's the goal they've been looking for. Well, he was never going to miss from there. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions. How quick-minded was that? Manchester United take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Ah, they're guilty of lacking inventiveness here. It's all broken down. He's not played the ball, that's a foul. Partey. Now it's Sterling. Arsenal ran themselves into the proverbial cul-de-sac there. Well positioned to make that interception. Well weighted. Van Dijk positions himself well and cuts it out. He's away. He's had a shot. He scores. He does it all with an air of efficiency and simplicity. Peter, I can tell you that was nothing short of a cold-blooded execution. This is threatening to become a really good game. I think they can sense a comeback here, and so can this crowd. It's all systems go now. Partey. Fakir. Now it's Sterling. Gets the better of his man. Goes for goal! Goal! And with the match slipping away, they have hauled themselves off the canvas. Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. Manchester United are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and 
as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. We have ourselves a real game here. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Manchester United merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. No, no, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Hoists it forward. Partey now on a hat-trick. He's tried one. He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. And the referee brings it to a close. A very good game of football. No winner, but both sets of fans have got their money's worth. Fine entertainment, and it ends all square. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Well, a decent draw, Peter, with a good mix of action and...